Live Metallica. Akadaka! Kelly Clarkson, since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. Don't know, no. Yeah, yeah. You are such a limp biscuit. It's Friday Night Live! To the jungle, we got fun and games. Yes, it's heavy metal night tonight on Friday Night Live. Will you please welcome a man who rocks so hard that he starts every day with a hearty serving and pearl jam on toast? Ryan Fitzgerald. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I'm not going to touch, touch that one. I'm so ex This is the best heavy metal night. This is right up my alley tonight. I'm fired up. I was just told that I was doing this. Apparently yeah. that's like hang loose. No, no, that, that's that's heavy no, metal. Mike was, Mike was Mike. coming out doing this. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Really, really 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 and you please welcome a woman who hates housework so much that she rages against the washing machine. <laughs> Brie Amar. Oh, <laughs> well, hang on. Is it Sandra D? Yeah. Look at me. Everyone's I'm saying Sandra, that tonight. Sandra like D in and Ed Hardy. Yeah. Looking nice. How you going, Brie? You all right? Really good, thanks. Fantastic even. And How are you, Mikey? I'm great. Now, we'd like to officially say that Brie is not pregnant. <laughs> I started that rumour and oh. it was a joke and I'm very sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry I to disappoint. <laughs> oh, Someone's claiming it out there. No. Someone is claiming it. It's not yours, mate. It's Bodie's, all right? <laughs> oh, do we have a jam-packed show for you tonight, <laughs> I hear you ask? They did very well then. Wow, that was awesome. You bet your little sister's Barbie collection we do. We have a car cough. Oh, jeez, I knew I'd stuck <laughs> No, seriously, he rehearsed that about 20 we times. Oh, so have many. another crack at we it. We have a car coffee. Is it? Is it car coffee. Oh, sorry. A car coffee of guitar slamming, tongue waggling, tight jean wearing, mullet shaking action for you. Like this. All right, rock and roll. And actually, there's one game in particular, Fitzy, that you're pretty pumped about. Tell us all about it, Fitzy. Tell, Tell us, us what you were it. supposed to say. So, Mike, tonight, <laughs> one of the great art forms of modern times will be played out in all its greatness tonight. An art form which makes painters, sculptors and classical pianists look like a bunch of nobodies. I got that word out right, all right? I've been practising all day. I am, of course, talking about the ancient art of air guitaring. <laughs> Okay, so is air guitaring all ah, in the face and tongue? I think I just, I think I just did a hammy. Dude. <laughs> ah, I think I've really just hurt my hamstring. The guitar's out here. You're, not, you're scratching your... You yeah, know, all right, all right. Me. But look, air guitaring is happening tonight, so they're going to get stuck into... And we have a legend of air guitaring that's going to be on the show. Very mm. pumped. Looking forward to meeting him. Let's have a look at our rock star arena. <laughs> the Ginger Ninja oh, and his band. The arena look? Rock and roll, baby. Oh! The ginger. 
Metac where's, <laughs> where's Nigel Ninja? What Ma happened to him? Did we give Ma him a job back? No. Metalaranga. <laughs> He's the Metalaranga. Is he still at oh. least a roadie or something like that? Well, pack your tour bus, stuff your leather pants with a rolled up pair of socks. I think someone already has. And kiss your groupies goodbye. Let's get down to the arena. <laughs> This is Big Brother. Housemates, it's time to enter the arena. Terence, as your neck is still not match fit, you are unable to compete. Swap your mullet for the blonde wig and put on some lippy. Some what blonde wig, lippy. brother? Ooh, hello, honey. Ooh. You're my groupie. Groupie, yeah. <laughs> well, just, here we are. Go, Terence. Oh. Someone's going to have to help me with the fun, wig and the me. lippy. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Terence, you are tonight's groupie. Oh, yeah. Move to your front row seat now. Where's me lippy? <laughs> Where's the front row seat? <laughs> Housemates, tonight is heavy metal night. Nine of you take the stage, but only one will rock their way to the top. Nobby. Hand the head of household armband to the ninja. I'll never take this off. You should be better at that one. Your reign is over. Housemates, who will win tonight's mystery prize? Who will be the head of the household? Who will be the next holder of the all powerful eviction twist? Who wants it most? Me. Me. Who needs it most? Me. You want to? <laughs> All housemates to the holding area. Oh, well, the big question on everyone's lips is Nobby's reign over the Big Brother house over. He's won three times in a, in a row. Can he do it again tonight? And uh, so they're all pumped for another round tonight, the mystery prize. I know, absolutely. Actually, first, it's girls versus girls and guys versus guys in the first round tonight, which is going to be interesting to see. No teams. And the mystery prize tonight, something that coming from first-hand experience, Fitzy and I can say, this they're winning their favourite ever house. movie. Shut up, Big now Brother, that... trying to talk. <laughs> Don't, don't talk This is Big Brother. Smoke. Bree, shut up. <laughs> Bree, you're boring. Um, they're winning their favourite movie of all time. That's huge when you're in the house because you don't see any TV, any, anything like that. Now, some of the movies, Alice's favourite movie is The Notebook, one of my favourites. Yeah, yeah, what a coincidence. Yeah. Mine too. You yeah. two said you cried. You both it's admitted you cried. Okay. Um, Bianca, 10 Things I Hate About You. Ben, Catch Me If You Can. Bridget, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. She should try that out on Cherry. Um, Cherry, Borat. Nobby, American Beauty, Rory, Predator, Terry, Beaches. Oh, Predator? Beaches. That's a great first date movie, Predator. And Travis, The Devil's Wear Wears Prada. Imagine if, like, imagine... <laughs> a what? Imagine <laughs> if, like, Terence or Nobby and Cherry get stuck watching Beaches with Terry. Oh, no, that's not going to be very good. Speaking of mysteries, uh, the, the whole Moon Monk task, it's just wacky, Bizarre. isn't it? Bizarre. It, it's been great, though, but listen, I want to ask you guys this because you've been housemates in the past. Mm. If you have to keep a secret from the other housemates like they've been doing and you find out that everyone's been keeping a secret from you, would it sort of feel you, make you feel left out? Would you feel bad towards the other housemates? Well, definitely what Nobby's doing at the moment where he's just been sabotaging the big shark uh, challenge. I think that's... Uh, everyone is against him, but he's obviously doing it for a reason with a task. Because he's when, bored. When, I mean, if everyone's leaving the bedroom at 2 o'clock in the morning, you're thinking there's something oh, going on I'd here. Be feel, I'd be feeling really left out, like... I'd be a bit concerned if everyone was in on the secret except me. But once you found out yeah. it was a task, you'd be fine. Well, Sunday night, 6.30, we'll find out if they passed. Bang your head, smash your guitar and mosh your pits. It's Heavy Metal Night on Friday Night Live. <laughs>
it's time to enter the arena. Tonight is Friday the 13th. The Pinch Assault Course. Versus Jason. Welcome to Mean Cuisine. Your first course is a teaspoon of wasabi. Ah. Sheep's brains. Oh. Oh, no. Ox tongue. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Bull's testicles. Oh. Warning, these may contain traces of nuts. Congratulations, Nobby. You are the winner of the Friday Night Games. Welcome back to Heavy Metal Night on Friday Night Live. If you have an appetite for destruction, then you come to the right place. As you just saw, Nobby, of course, he won his third FNL, as we were talking about earlier. Can he do it again tonight, Bree? Uh, my tip for tonight is actually going to be Alice. It's time for a girl to win again after the boys the last couple of weeks. But also, she's been nominated a lot, so I think she'll have the hunger to kind of the get in hunger. there and win to save herself. Hunger but, to win. Yeah, but maybe Bryce Fitzberg should choose Nobby and change his crap losing streak. You silly oh. little girl, Bree. Leave Bryce alone. You know, Bree's got a... Ma uh, Bryce, sorry, he's got a massive <laughs> fan club. There's Actually, the fan club's in the crowd tonight. Can we Miami get Miami Brace? There it is. He's so nice. Yeah. He's got a fan club. A of fan one. club, one person. <laughs> but she loves him to death. Now, I'll tell you what, he's very busy as well. Bryce's days, he's full to the brim, he's catching crooks, yeah. he's working on his tan, he's combing his moustache. He barely has the time to even think about stupid games like this, but we should be honoured that a man of his calibre mm. even cares about us. Anyway, if mm. you want to know who's going to win tonight, watch now. <laughs> Miami Bryce here, all right. Are you ready to rock? Oh, I'm gonna rock on this week. Not you, Nubby. It's heavy metal night, man. So who's gonna win? Only one housemate gets my head banging, and that is Bianca. She likes it loud. <coughs> she likes it angry. I can make money off being an idiot. A true hardcore rock and roll fan. Bianca's a rock diva with a capital double D, yeah. The signs are obvious. In the kitchen, she's all about the heavy metal. And in the bathroom, she's the straightening Iron Maiden. Get it? Secret sources tell me that Bianca's in a rock band for sure. When she goes on tour, she always demands an entourage. A hairstylist. Can you just go over to brush it? No. A wardrobe guy. Oh, you crisscross, don't you? Yep. A makeup artist. And she takes stage diving very seriously. Travis. Yes. Get on my back. Do it now. She even personally picks her own backup band dances. Will it be Nubby, Terence, Rory, or Ben? Bianca's bad to the bone and feisty as hell for FNL. She'll take the top prize for sure. Rock on! Whoa, whoa. That's it, man. <laughs> Head bang. That's Bianca. Don't touch my wig, Mike. Bianca's going to win tonight. Bianca, sorry. Bianca. I get that wrong all the time. It's Bianca's going to win tonight. <laughs> Price fits such said. posh words coming out of such a bogan. Who do we think's <laughs> going to win tonight? <laughs> no idea. Someone said Fitzy. The housemates Fitzy. are getting ready to slide into history. Let's get down to the arena. This is Big Brother. 
The first round is Skid Row. Girls will play girls. Boys will play boys. Housemates, you will have two skids each. The further you skid, the higher you score. The two female and two male housemates who score the highest in each round will go through to the next. On the buzzer, you will take it in turns to skid down Skid Row. When you reach the white line, plant your feet and skid. When skidding, both feet must be touching the floor at all times. When you have finished your first skid, go to the back of the line. Female housemates, you will compete first. Alice, prepare to take your first skid on the buzzer. All right. I saw Fitzy's washing in his dressing room and he's pretty good at skidding. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not very good, Alice. That was pretty weak, wasn't it? Alice, you have scored two points. Move to the back of the line. Bianca, prepare to skid. Uh-oh. Bianca, she's got padding at the front and the back. Oh! They need... Oh. Wait, hey, hello. Oh, she's oh. walking. Come on. Bianca, as you shuffled your feet to gain distance, you scored one point. Oh, yeah, she's the mate. hottest roadie I've ever no seen. Cheating, Bridget, Bianca. get ready to skid. Look at her, she's psyched. Come on, girls, you got to take the runner. She's pumped. Bridget, she's got an ACDC t-shirt on tonight. Dirty deeds done dirt cheap for Bridget. Bridget, you have scored two points. Terry, prepare to skid. Oh, this will be interesting. Go, Terry! It's the skidding header! Yeah! yeah. Hey, that's more, that's more slippery than Mike's hair. Hey. Oh. Terry, Go, Terry, you have scored one point. Nice. Alice, Good prepare one. to take your second skid on the buzzer. <laughs> they, they need more of the runner. <laughs> oh. <laughs> on your ass. Alice, you scored two points. Bianca, get ready to skid again. They only get two skids because we know any more than two skids and you have to sacrifice your undies. <laughs> you need to wash them. Oh, you girls are weak. <laughs> She's doing it again. Bianca, you scored one point. Bridget, get ready to take your second skid. Do you, on, do you reckon you'd be better than Embree? <laughs> Bridget, this... Oh, yeah, Bridget. Bridget! Nice work, Bridget. Bridget, you have scored three points. Terry, get ready to skid. Come on! Come on now! Come on, Terry! Bring it home, Terry! Come on, Terry! Go, Terry! Yeah! Nana! Terry, you have scored two points. Well, she's pumped with that. She looks like she's out of Mad Max. <laughs> Alice, she's the feral kid. After two skids, you scored four points. Bianca, after two skids, you scored two points. Bridget, after two skids, you scored five points. Terry, after two skids, you scored three points. Bridget and Alice, rock on. You are through to the next round. That is all. Analysis. Is that heavy metal? I don't know. No, that's not heavy metal at all. But great. If, I thought the girls would have got a bit of courage up with the second one, but I'm still worried. Hopefully the boys do a bit better. Like the, the guys that we were rehearsing with today were getting the whole way to the end. All that was the way weak. to the end. And, and when these guys have a crack at it, it will absolutely blow you away. It's heavy metal night, so bang your head, throw your fists in the air. And if you're going to stage dive, make sure there are people there to catch you. This is Friday Night Live. <laughs>
Night Live, as you can see, we are dressed to rock tonight, and so is our audience. And why wouldn't they? There's an LG LCD up for grabs in the Friday Night Live Best Dress Competition. Check out tonight's entries. What do you think about these, Brie, Fitzy? Oh, nice guitar. Oh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. Oh, Kiss. Rock and it's roll. It's Gene Simmons. Is it? It's a young Gene Simmons, oh, are these guys? Those. Look at those two Looking kids. Looking pretty cool. Oh, what is, is that the anchor? What is that? Oh, that's awesome. Snuggled Hilarious. Oh, Princess Crybaby. Cry <laughs> from from Bridget, being Bridget in the house, oh, of obviously. Course. I wondered what that And this looks like our winner for tonight, is it? Yeah! Oh, look at the no. tone. Okay. Maybe, maybe oh, it could be that. this Alice girl down there, or maybe it's the Ace oh, Freely. Ace Freely from Kiss. We've, we've got a Kiss game coming up in the game later on tonight. Way! Yeah. Jeez, those girls got a good pair of lungs on them. <laughs> uh, and then another, another little Bridget. Bridget's got a massive fan club, Doesn't hasn't she, guys? But uh, so the winner for tonight. Are uh, you ready for the winner? Yeah, let's see. There he oh, is. There he is. The little Kiss legend. Show us your tongue. Stick your tongue out, Gene. Yeah, that's it. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, hey. Ah. Hey, come he's, on, he, seven inches. It he, needs to come he, out seven he's, inches. He's not going to struggle to pick up a girl in a few years, I tell you that, fella. Look at him go. Yeah, he's he's loving it. He's still going. Uh, Keep going. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, can you hey, keep, the ca hey, keep the camera on him? We'll come back to him in a sec if, to see if he's still. Oh, just, he just dropped his guitar. He dropped, oh, oh, that's dropped rock the guitar. and roll. He smashed it on the camera. <laughs> Tonight's winner, that's you, my friend. You're going to win for yourself a Friday Night Live prize pack and tickets to our grand final show for you Whoa! and your friends for the chance to win the LG LCD TV. <laughs> I think he's just eating chilli. His tongue must be hot. He, can we go back on him again? He's, he's chilli on his tongue. Go on. Look at him. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's over yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, it's game time. Let's get down in the arena and see how well the guys can oh. skid row. This is Big Brother. Nobby, Rory, Cherry, Ben and Travis. Welcome to Skid Row. The two male housemates that score the most points will break on through to the next round. Nobby, take your first skid on the buzzer. scored 10 points. Move to the back of the line. Right effort, Nobby. Rory, prepare to skid. These guys are sliding quicker than Britney Spears' latest album. Oh. 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 <laughs> the Bricky on his bum. Oh, oh, he went even quicker than a Van Halen groupie. Rory, <laughs> you have scored five points. <laughs> Cherry, get ready <laughs> to skid. No, I, I, you surf, Cherry, you surf. <laughs> Professional surfer. You, Cherry, you have scored on one point. <laughs> ben, get ready to skid. <laughs> the boys up the Goldie wouldn't be happy with him, I don't reckon. Oh, oh, Benny. <laughs> and he was so amped. Get it? Ben, you have scored one point. Oh. Travis, get ready to skid. Come on, come on, Travis. Go the flamingo. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Travis, you scored zero points. Uh, Nobby, uh, prepare to take your second skid on the buzzer. How evil does Nobby look? He is a Friday Night Live machine. Oh. Until now. Oh, gee, Poor was... Terence looks, <laughs> looks more out of place than Tommy Lee Nobby, at a parent teacher night. <laughs> you have scored four points. Rory, get ready to skid again. Rock and Rory. Into the same man, Nobby. He's getting fixed up by the ninjas. Come on, Rory. Go, Rory. Go, Rory. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Rory, you have scored six points. Cherry, get ready to take your second skid. Pressure. Pressure for Cherry. Pre oh, oh, come on. Get is it just me or is there some smoke on that water? 
is so dormant. <laughs> Cherry, oh, no. you have scored five points. Try it. Ben, get ready to skid. Come on, baby! Ben, you have scored four points. Travis, get ready to skid. Come on, Travis. Come on. Come on. Lean forward. Travis. He's had his knee. Travis actually looks like Alice Cooper. Travis, you have scored two points. Nobby. After two skids, you scored 14 points. Rory, you scored 11 points. Cherry, you scored 6 points. Ben, you scored 5 points. Travis, you scored 2 points. Nobby and Rory, you are through to the next round. Bianca, Terry, Cherry... Ben and Travis, the night is not over for you yet. All housemates to the holding area. The night is not over yet. Nobby and Rory, how good is Nobby, man? He killed it all the way to the end. I know, so through to the next round, we've got Nobby, Rory, Bridget and Alice, and all the eliminated housemates are going to compete for a couple of them to go through to the next round. Oh, they could get back in. I tell you what, Cherry won't be a very light boy. The boy's up the Gold Coast. He's a surfer. He's supposed to have great balance. He's supposed to be a great surfer. He's always talking it up. He looks like a surfer. Is his hair dyed or is it from the sun? Maybe he's making it up. No, Nobby did well to get all the way to the end of the golden guitar. And g'day to everyone in Tamworth with the golden guitar, but Nobby was the only one that could get down there. Random. We have a very big fan base in Tamworth. There's eight people that watch. Thanks, guys. My, my, actually, my family's from Tamworth. Oh, so well, yes. that just goes to show. Actually, you know, that reminds me. Let's talk family. about Tamworth. It's your family. You know, no, we won't. Uh, <laughs> there's been a lot going on in the house this week. I know, the there's housemate's been... got a hair straightener. Yeah, and well, obviously the treasure chest dig that happened and the, the new gangs, the black crows versus the three blonde mice, and we even had a shark in the house. Mm. A big shark. Couldn't eat people, though. If you haven't a clue what I'm talking about, then here's Jim Shorts. I'm Jim Shorts. At least, that's what it says on the back of my Jim Shorts. We came in the house and a full moon rises. The housemates discover what the Big Brother prize is. Of course, it was always going to be hard. They had to dig for the clue in the backyard. They found the cash in the diary room chair and then found out they had to share until they got evicted, of course. Rihanna's voice from the grave and there were tears. She hadn't had so much fun in years. Everyone in that house is awesome. It's Rory that she really misses and her hand grenade gave Jerry dishes. They nominate and Nobby saves Rory. He hangs out with me outside and he's just all around nice black. Then six are up in this nomination story. Shark Alarm Moon Monks is the weekly task, but it's only one they have to pass. The Shark Alarm Challenge is a fake task. Nobby sabotages the shark with a random gal. Bridget and Cherry flirt. Are they a couple to watch now? Vending machine and the girls get the straightener. Hallelujah. Bridget and Terrence get a romantic dinner. How peculiar. Black crows dress in black and start to squawk. <laughs> Three blonde mice think they're all talk. Family dinner and the mood was bizarre. Even Nobby was yelling out from the spa. Answer the question! Week eight in the house and it's hit and miss. Well, at least Travis got his first real kiss. So, housemates got cash, Travis got a pash, Alice still walking, Terrence still talking, they worship the moon, Terry still has a broom, Cherry's Mr. Clean, Bridget's still mean, Brent and Bianca hold hands, and after 54 days, Nobby is still in the combi van. And that's the news. I'm Jim Shorts. Who are you? Wow. It has been an absolutely massive week in the Big Brother house. So much has happened and the housemates found out about the prize money. 250 Gs. They found it in the Big Brother diary room chair. It's all in their lockers now. But what I think is hilarious, Brie Aimer, Ryan Fitzgerald, $25,000 each must they must give it to someone when they leave. How hard would that be, physically parting with it, going... <laughs> I want the money for myself. <laughs> it's heavy metal night, and in the immortal words of Akadaka, it's a long way to the shop if you want a sausage roll. This is Friday Night Live. <laughs>
are you ready for a good time? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me so, try something. So, some girl brought a sign that says Kelly, just to remind herself of her name. She's going Kelly. <laughs> Can we have Kelly again? There, yeah, that's it. That's, that's Kelly it. there, guys. Oh. That's Kelly. Well, don't they just do that just because they want to be seen on TV? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> that's great. Good on nice. you guys. Good you work. Be... Everyone hold up your signs. Let's see all your signs tonight. I said, show us your signs. Oh, that's go the Crows! Well done. There's a couple from Adelaide. There you go, the Crowies. Nikki, rock on Bridget. Nice work. Go, Bridgie. Good on you guys. Oh, oh Bree Smills. Bree Smills. <laughs> Fitzy sucks. Tonight, obviously, joined by my roadie, Ryan Fitzgerald. Yeah, sick. Oh, oh, that's it. That's how you do it. And my groupie, Bree Amer. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's you, Mike. Oh, my God. <laughs> Security. <laughs> if Jim Shorts didn't fill you in, then this Two Crap for the Daily Show will certainly oh. tell you what's been going on in the Big Brother house. Awesome. Two Crap for the Daily Show. Two Crap for the Daily Show. It's 11 a.m. in the Big Brother house. We shouldn't have shown that because if people see that, they might vote her out. What? <laughs> what <are they> <laughs> no, it was just that crap. <laughs> Actually, but you know what? Since you mentioned it, you know, she is nominated, isn't she? Yeah, Terence Terry, Alice Bridget, Cherry, and no. Nobby. Who's going to get kicked out this weekend? Ooh. Ooh. Cherry, you know what? Nobby. That says to me it's going to be really close this weekend. I think it will be too. Isn't it funny though how Nobby um, used his head of house and his Friday Night Live power to take himself out of nominations and then, as always, the rule is a housemate gets taken out, another one is replaced, but the uh, about four other housemates I know. had the same amount of, of votes, so they all had to go in. So six this week is going to be a big nomination, a big I eviction like it when I love it when there's heaps of housemates nominated because it gives you a better gauge of... With what the public are thinking, you know? Whereas if it's the same few people every week, I think it gets a bit, you know, bland. Mm. All right, well, two eliminated housemates will get a chance to get back into the games. The Air Guitar Championships are on the way. Rihanna's on stage as well, but right now let's get to the arena where the eliminated housemates will have to know how to keep a beat to get back in the games. This is Big Brother. <laughs> Round two is Kick Drum. The two highest scorers will be back in tonight's games. Cherry, Ben, Travis, Bianca, and Terry. You will each kick a drum onto a target to score as many points as possible. The two housemates with the highest score will go through to the next round. You will each take a kick after you have been spun around ten times. You must look up at the Big Brother eye whilst you are being spun. Cherry, Prepare to compete. Look into the eye, Cherry. This is his chance to redeem himself, Cherry. He can get back into the game here. He will never live down falling over on that skid row game. Let's see how his balance goes here. <laughs> Look, see, this is very, very hard. This should be our anti binge drinking campaign. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, no. Wow. What will his mate Mick Fanning think? <laughs> he did very well. Cherry, you scored one point. Move back to the green zone. Ben, move to the spinner. Here we go, Benny. Prepare to compete. Alice thinks he's the most untrustworthy person in the house. I said that at the family dinner the other night. Oh, how shattered would you be? thought that he was flying under the radar. Hey, spinning like fits his head every Sunday morning. <laughs> Come on, Ben. Kick now. Go, Ben. Here we go, Benny. He's had a big set day night, Benny. Ben, you scored two points. Move back to the green zone. That Travis, is so funny. Move to the spinner. Prepare to compete. Oh no, look how worried Travis oh, no. looks. <laughs> Travis doesn't want to be in the house group called the Black Crows, wants to be a pink flamingo. For Travis, who's just come beyond Thunderdome from Mad Max. Hey, hey, look, guys, look at the birds. 
kick now. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, that was brilliant! <laughs> Best so far! <laughs> Travis, you scored four points. <laughs> Bianca, move to the spinner. Prepare to compete. Travis does his little puppet like a tart every time he gets something good. How would Bianca's balance be? I oh, hey, don't, but she's yeah, going to knock out one of the ninjas. <laughs> she's oh, going to knock someone oh, over, Bianca. Oh, Pull yourself in. Ginger ninja's going to get a black eye. <laughs> oh, Kick. There we go. What are they doing that for? <laughs> oh, come on, come you got to do it quicker than that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, three seconds. Bianca, you have failed to kick your drum. You scored zero points. Oh, Ben to the rescue. Oh. Terry, move to the spinner. Uh oh. Prepare. This to is compete. gonna be good. Terry, Queen of the Stone Age. Come on, Terry. Uh oh. Although Travis, you know, he proved us wrong. We're a bit worried about Travis. She might be alright. She's going cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh. Come on, Terry. This is Kick just now. not going to go well. This is not going to go well. Oh, what? Terry! Hey! That's fantastic. Brilliant. Looks like Terry, Travis and Terry. You scored three points. Good job, Terry. Oh. <laughs> Travis and Terry. Congratulations. <laughs> you are back in the games. <laughs> Cherry, Ben and Bianca. You are out of the band. All housemates oh, to the holding area. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's take a look at the KFC oh, Twister replay. Bianca falling on a bam bam. And I'll tell you what, it's good to see Dick Terry and Travis now. through. I love the good underdog. What she, she knows. Look at her. As soon as she lets go, oh, see you, yeah, Bianca. There you go. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh, yeah, awesome. that's why they call her Bianca Boom Boom. Boom Boom. Uh, can I just say, I've got to laugh that Terry isn't through again because the whole reason he said he was coming into the house was to do Friday Night Live. I want to, I want to nail... No, Cherry. Oh, Cherry. Sorry. I want to nail Friday Night Live, you know. I'm going to be yeah. so good at it. He was so cocky about it. It's almost hilarious that he's always out. But he, and he's a surfer, and, like, t two of the games where you had to be able to balance, he, he's just totally failed at I it. I think I'm he's just... made up a false past. He's not a surfer at all. I, I'm stoked with Terry. She's been getting... I tell you, yeah. she hasn't won one, but she gets to the finals all the time. She's, very, she's doing very she well. She has. Who'd like to see... Terry, Terry win a Friday Night Live. Hey. Nana winning. All right. You know what? There's been a division in the house this week. Two gangs have been formed. It's the Black Crows versus the three blonde mice. Take a look. We're the evil Black Crows cult, right? Because we sit in a tree and I brainwash all of you guys. Should I get Ben for you? It's just one 15-minute meeting in the tree a day. Oh, are you trying to recruit me? Yeah. Join us. It might have been. What is a ooh? I'm a different, um, I'm a flamingo. Oh no. He wants to be a flamingo. It must be a friend of Dorothy. That, that would have, can I say that's the greatest line we've heard this year? I don't want to be a crow, I want to be a flamingo. Bitsy says that every week. He's a legend. I love we're, we're he comes loving out the gangs. With, the, with the best one liners, doesn't he? <laughs> He does. We're loving the gangs in the Big Brother house and, and like all of the tasks that they're getting as well, it's breaking them up into little groups, it's putting them all against each other. I think we're going to see a lot more of that happening in the coming weeks. Mm. After the break, the latest evictee, Rihanna, will join us live on stage. Let's hear it for our heavy metal band, The Driving Condition! <laughs> Send Rihanna 
away. Flying oh. Rihanna. Her little daughter would be at home going, Mummy's flying! Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Friday Night Live, the latest Civic D from the Big Brother house. Through it then. Sorry about that, Rihanna. Isn't it tiny. Funny you? All the housemates are coming out and they're teeny tiny little things. We look like massive giants next to them, don't we? Well, everyone thinks that I'm a real short ass I know. from watching me on the TV, but I'm six foot two. It's because nah, this not. giant next to me is like seven yeah. foot. People say that. Oh, and that short guy, Mike. <laughs> uh, what, so, what's going on with you? You had a good week? I've had an amazing week. Well, what's it been like? Um, it's been fun. I went out for a little bit last night and um, people recognised me, which I didn't think that they would because I was only in there for two weeks. What but... are they saying? Um, I was actually out with a friend and they were going up to my friend, because I only have one friend in Queensland, and um, they were approaching my friend saying, you're not Rory! <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no. it's a boy! Oh, okay. so, it's a boy! So, so well, what, what is with all, with all the crying? Did you love Rory or what? Um, I don't think it was love. It was two weeks in the Big Brother house, but I'm sad because I was... Um, I was having fun in there and getting to know him was awesome and yeah. then just to be thrown out. Do you, was do you think you left a bit of a, sorry Brie, do you think you left a little bit of a mess in the house when you left? Because Rory and Cherry are now at each other's throats. The family dinner the other night, we, you know, yeah. they, they both said that they're the most least trustworthy people in the house. Oh, but about time Rory started standing up for Why her. Why did you stand up for did, did anyone tell you that originally he wasn't? Cherry was kind of going at you a bit and Rory was standing back, so it's good to see now he's kind yeah, of standing absolutely. up for you. Mm, absolutely. Hey, tell me, what did um, Mia think? Think of seeing you kiss Rory. <laughs> I haven't really spoken to her about Rory yet, but um. <laughs> oh, hey. You're too young, mate. You're 13 years of age. <laughs> Wait a couple of years, and then you can have a crack. So she hasn't said anything to you um, about it? No, not about Rory, but um, I mean, lots about everything else. Um, she's. I actually spoke to her last night, and I was asking her how school is, and she goes, it's so annoying. Everyone oh, keeps oh. saying they saw me on TV. I mean, it must be really bad for I'm, her. I'm, I'm, really, I'm really sorry to, to tell you this, and, and uh, we might need to get a box of Kleenex or oh, something yeah, like that, because Rory has actually already moved on since you left the house, Rihanna. <laughs> I know, take a deep breath, young lady. You'll be OK. That's all right. We're here for moral support. Oh, yes. Thank you, guys. She's the, packing it. Oh, this God. this like cereal it. spooner is up to it again. Take a look. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> 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 Got a hot body. <laughs> I won't be snuggling with anyone until I'm out of here. That's, that's a definite. Maybe, maybe the occasional Terry snuggle. <laughs> I got one more. Terry! One more. Terry. In the spa. Lucky we didn't have an underwater spa cam. Hey, right, Brianna's gonna hang out for a while. Let's get back to the <laughs> arena for the next game. If you're an Iron Maiden fan, you are gonna love this. This is Big Brother. The next round is Iron Maiden. Alice, you are the iron. Terry, you must lie flat on the ironing board. Nobby, you are the maid. On the buzzer, the iron must push the ironing board around the heavy metal to the maid at the other end. The maid must then hand a washing basket to the housemate on the ironing board. The iron must then lie on top of the housemate on the ironing board and allow the maid to push them both back to the start. The maid must collect all items of clothing along the way. All washing must be in the basket 
before crossing the finish line. Oh, I see. We don't have to get the caution. Housemates, prepare to compete. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Ironing maiden. This Alice is the iron. This iron is actually from Fitzy's dressing room. That's how big his shirts are. <laughs> He's a very big man. This is very hard to manoeuvre around here today. We did it in rehearsals. Terence is one scary woman. Full steam ahead. Get it? Because it's an iron. I'll be back next week. A floor manager laughed. She's in love with you. Come on, jump on, Alice! <laughs> oh, no! She's going to burn the carpet. Here come the ninjas. Jump on, Alice. This is where it gets real weird, I reckon. <laughs> oh. This is the strangest game we've ever come up with. Look, Bridget's even weirded out. Uh, hey, that's one crease that I wouldn't mind having in me pants here, I tell you. <laughs> it's flattening Terry. Should be a flat nana. Grab the flanny, there's the drug shirt. We all know you don't iron your, your flannoys as well. Housemates, all items of clothing must be in your washing basket before you cross the finish line. Hard press to beat that. Terry has the most fun in the games. I'm I think she does too. Yeah. Nobby, Alice, and Terry. You ironed your maiden in one minute and 30 seconds, however, as you hit the heavy metal and threw your bra into the basket after crossing the finish line. Big Brother has added 10 seconds to your time, giving you a total of one minute and 40 seconds. Rory, Travis and Bridget, this is your time to beat. All housemates to the holding area. There you go. I'm glad Big Brother notices things like that because we get all sorts of emails after the show. Oh, I wonder how they ran off the track and, you know, they dropped something. So Big Brother is watching all the time and he does add points and take them away at his discretion. Hey, Bree Ryan, great news. Friday night download is coming back. Yeah, she's back yeah. on the screens. It's so exciting. I guess you could call it eye-opening. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Looks like it's had a rave. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's right, Friday Night Download is back. Bizarre clips, stupid stunts, hilarious bungles, dummy spits, mini Britney Spears impersonators. We've got them all. Starting the week after Friday Night Live wraps, we are back with our selection of weird and wonderful clips off the net. And uh, here is another taste. It's actually Brie Aimer doing no, one at not. home. <laughs> this looked like Bridget. Watch this. Oh! Good one, Brie. Can we see that again? We've got to replay that. This is an absolute... Oh! Oh, don't try that at home. We'll actually be recreating that in the studio and seeing how well Fitzy holds yeah, on. Yeah, I'm not That'd too bad on the poll. And this year we actually want not your help to start, cre oh, start creating your own clips and send them through to us and there'll be awesome prizes. We've got unbelievable prizes, kids, so get filming people and you can win big. There's going to be a heap of surprises on the show. Here's a bit of a clip that I found. It involves a cat and watch, just watch it. <laughs> Lining up the cat. Oh. <laughs> Dead cat. That is yeah. so wrong. I don't even know where to start with you, Fitzy. It's a winning show. Can't yeah. wait. Make sure you join us for Friday Night Download from July 25. Meanwhile, check us, check us out at 10.com.au forward slash FND for more information and upload your clips as well. Speaking of funny clips, check out Bridget, the domestic goddess. This is Friday Night Live. <laughs>
this week's task, you are on 24 hour shark alert. the audience before. Yeah, during the breaks. Hey, in the Big Brother house right now, uh, the cameramen, we've got 24 hour cameras in there and everything like that, they're filming a kookaburra in the backyard and I just thought we'd show you. Oh, It's really God. cute. That's right now in the house. Just about to do a big he crap loves, on the tree. He loves having a bit of peace and quiet. It's great in Australia, Big Brother. We have all sorts of animals and wildlife in the backyard. Unlike UK, Big Brother, they just have a rat crawl across the backyard. Yeah. And uh, can I just say that that kookaburra is the only one that's laughing at Terence's jokes as well. So <laughs> it's great to have someone out there supporting Terence. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. It's Heavy Metal Night. Are you ready to rock? <laughs> yes, we sure as hell are. Well, it's time for... The most inappropriate place. Yes, Peg Face. Whoa, look at the audience. Look at all that playing girl. Out there. Wow. She's great. Little girl from the uh, Starlight Foundation in there tonight. Thank you Go for coming on, let's along. Let's have a look at our audience members. Oh, look at those girls there. And there's one guy right up the back of the <laughs> audience that's been playing ever since the show started. <laughs> And like, he's just been sitting that there for hours. So thank you so much for everyone in the audience for playing. And here's some interesting... There he is, the guy at the back. He's been like that. That kid's just been like out that of for the way. three we can't see him. Yeah, that's... It that just kid, guys, just block his... Yeah, block... <laughs> there's Beck. Oh, you're looking lovely, Beck. How funny that, is that? That kid's been like that the whole night. All night. No, look at that, the signs there. And they ruin his five how, how funny, though. Like, you, he's been there for hours with all his yeah. pegs, excruciating pain on his face. Well, and let's have a look at him. And the sign comes up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, to, to take the pain away from watching our stupid jokes, he's been pegging his face to take the pain away. Now, here's some interesting information. Because we're playing peg face and who invented pegs, apparently Thomas Crapper invented the toilet. Uh, reportedly Otto Titzling invented the bra. And you never believe who invented the peg. Who? David Smith. Oh, ah. We've been getting hundreds Smitty. of peg face entries every single week. Here are some of them at the footy. Look at that. Oh, at the Lions. Lions West Lions Eagles game. The Lions won that one. Go the Lions! Yes, Country Fire Cadets. Oh, shouldn't they have been doing yeah. other things? Yeah, yeah that's like putting that, up fires. <laughs> the bush burnt down. Oh. Oh. You may now kiss the bride if you can get to that her That would have been a bit hard on the wedding night. Oh, yeah. the groom no, it was actually a bit more fun, actually, I heard. Oh. Ice uh, hockey! Ice hockey! Good work, guys. And uh, look at these dudes. How did they put that oh, on your they, face in the background, That's you in the background, Fitzy. background Fitzy. Oh, they've even pegged my face. And <laughs> good one, kids. I'll just get your address and give you a call. Oh, there's this a, is bizarre. At a prison. That's Carl and Roberta oh. Williams there. there. So, <laughs> thanks for that, guys. And this guy, he actually sent us a letter. Paul Jager, he's in Antarctica at Davis Station. His son sent him an email saying, send us in a photo. And he did. Look at that, all the way from how Antarctica. How good is that? that yeah, that's, going to be the, that's going to be the leader so far. And, and how about this one? This is actually a tombstone in a cemetery. It's just a massive peg. Mm. We have no idea what someone it's all about. But died someone died who loved washing. Someone spotted it and sent it in. But congratulations to uh, Paul and his son uh, who sent in the photo all the way from Antarctica. We're going to send you out an FNL prize pack. <laughs> send us... Send, what are you laughing for? <laughs> we, we don't actually have FNL prize packs, but Mike <laughs> keeps saying it every week. But we'll send you out one. Well, we have to now. No, we'll now find yeah, let's, uh, let's put one together now. Yeah, okay. Our script and a script. Uh, can we have we'll that ribbon, it. please? <laughs> yeah, no, seriously, if you'd like to send us an inappropriate peg face place at a disco, first date, whatever, send your photos to fnl at bigbrother.com.au. Round two of Ironing Maiden is about to get underway. Let's get down to the arena. This is Big Brother. Rory, Bridget and Travis. It is your turn to compete in Iron Maiden. You must complete the course in less than one minute and 40 seconds to go through to the next round. Prepare to compete. Okay, no, 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 turn, turn, turn. Forward, go, now, turn. Here we go, turn, round go. two. Now, stop, turn, turn, turn. Forward, now, turn, Great turn, turn, turn. direction from Bridget. Listen to her. 
Okay, it's fine. Remember, Nobby had some time added. Just they made a couple of mistakes. I think it was about 10 seconds. You've got to help him Oh, they're going to do this easy. Oh, good oh job that's great. Very clever. Ripping all the stuff off the clothesline. Put it in. Oh, yes, Push him across the line. Very yes, clever. Go! Listen to him! <laughs> This is Big Brother. Nobby, Alice, and Terry. You ironed your maiden in one minute and 40 seconds. Rory, Bridget, and Travis. You steamed through the course in one minute and 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you are through to the semi final. Nobby, Alice, and Terry, your headbanging days aren't over yet. Move to the red zone. Rory, Bridget, and Travis move to the blue zone. Here we go. Terry, Alice, Nobby. Tonight's semi-final requires four housemates. One of you will win your way back into the games Ooh. in a game of pin the tongue on Gene Simmons. <laughs> Starting blindfolded on the white line, a ninja will spin you around three times, then hand you a tongue. The housemate who places the tongue closest to the correct position on the legendary Kiss Rocker, will be back in the games. Nobby, you will compete first. Alice, you will compete second. Yeah, Terry, sure it's you on third. Probably. Nobby, prepare to compete. I can't recognise Gene Simmons without his tongue. <laughs> That tongue is actual size. It's very long. <laughs> He's got two reality TV shows. One's called Family Jewels and the other one is Rock School. Way off. <laughs> Nobby. Wow. Return to the red zone. Alice, oh. get ready to compete. Come on, Al. I've always wanted to pass his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> his tongue could probably touch his shoulder. It's that long. Now, what we worked out today, a bit of a trick, is if you can get to the board and feel the edge of the board, you know where the middle of it is. But none of these guys have worked it out yet. Surely Alice will. She's got brains. Come on, Alice. That's it, Alice. Go. They've done a couple of these type of games already on Friday Night Live. You'd think they'd figure out a, a formula by now. Here we go. Oh, 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 Alice. Yeah, see? She's touching oh, the side. Yeah. Well done, Alice. Clever. Good That's girl. That's the way to do it. Well done, Alice. Gene Simmons is back to the red zone. Terry, prepare to compete. <laughs> Gene Simmons looks like Marilyn Monroe with a beauty spot. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. Terry. Oh, Terry. Terry, who's been a rocker from way back. One of Gene Simmons' original groupies. Terry actually went out with Jimi Hendrix. No one really knows that. That was a long time ago. Fizzy, stop making stuff up. She, yep. I heard she went out with Jesus Look at how as well. She's walking. Spent a night with him up in the watchtower. Back to the right. That's the cameraman, Terry. No, Terry. No, darling. Going the wrong way. Oh, 
Terry, oh, that's return to, his to the red zone. That's closer to his mouth, isn't it? Oh, they'll have to measure it. Closest to the middle part. Oh, it's so close. Terry oh. scores! Terry. Congratulations. You will join Rory, Bridget and Travis in tonight's semi-final. All housemates to the holding area. Once I found the thing, I knew I was right. But I thought I was going to say it. There's a goal! Rory, Bridget, Travis... And Terry, and I'll tell you what, the Air Guitar Championship is going funny. to be absolutely wicked, Brie. Hey, do you know what I love? I love the fact that no matter who wins, none of these guys have won before. That's really good. Oh, that's great. How many? How much do they talk about it in the house, Rian? Now, Friday Night Live about winning that, does everyone talk about it? Or do they yeah. get excited? It's, it's the most, it's the highlight of our week. Yep. Uh, we all loved getting dressed up and it wasn't so much for me winning, but... <laughs> Just competing. <laughs> yeah, it has something to do. Who's the most yeah. hardcore? Who wants it the most? Is Terry, it, and it was so good to Sherry. see him get out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you really don't like him, do you? Oh, oh but you, really, like, it, she's, you know, got a little bit of reason. You can't blame I, the girl. I yeah. know. All right, well, we're going to talk about it later, but seriously, now, what's, what's the go with him? You, do you think he actually liked you, had a crush on you? No, no, it wasn't That's like what that I reckon. One. I reckon he had a crush on you, and that's uh, why maybe. I just went, well, if I can't have her, I'm going to hate her. Yeah, I don't know. I've honestly never met anyone like him before in my life who was just so judgmental. And, you know, I was in the diary room um, one day speaking to Big Brother saying, you know, I think he's a cool guy. Um, you mm. know, I really like him. He's like a lot of guys that are on the outside world. Yeah. And then at the Wednesday night family dinner on the same day, he voted me fakest, most, um, least person he'd like to sleep mm. next to and something else. Well, now yeah. he's sleeping <laughs> next, next to Bridget. Do you reckon that uh, love story is going to evolve? He's trying so hard, but um, hopefully she, yeah, she well, doesn't in, cave in. In, in his defence, I mean, he, he did say a few things that I guess a lot of people agreed with, and that's why you did get booted from the house, because he was nominated at the same time. Yeah. And, and you know, he thought you were quite strategic in there, the way that you played <laughs> the game. What did you think about that? Um, I... Not at all strategic, not one little bit. I think this It didn't thing work that... if you were. <laughs> yeah, I was really bad at that. You know what? For the first time um, this year, like I was actually really shocked on Sunday night when you went. I kind of I didn't oh, pick funny. that. Yeah, normally I'm yeah. normally I'm pretty good at picking it, but I was like gobsmacked with my mouth open. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I guess mm. Everyone jumped on Cherry's bandwagon. Uh, <laughs> He's got a lot of surfer mates, well, maybe. Uh, honestly, I am so pumped for Ben, Bianca, no, actually, who we got, Rory, Bridget, Travis and Terry in the Air Guitar Championships That's coming awesome. up. And to judge them tonight, please welcome the Queensland representative of Air Guitar Australia, Ralph McKenzie. Yeah. Ralph McKenzie. Oh. This is Fitzy. I can't believe Please, there's an air guitar here. association. Give him a few <laughs> lessons on how to play the air guitar. Well, will you? Yeah, I play a little bit. Can yep. I borrow one of your air guitars over uh, here? Is that all right? Yep. I'll just grab that one there. Now, can we have a little bit of a jam session? I've got a little bit of an idea, but I want to jam with you. No problem. Let's oh. take it away. Let's jam. <laughs> But I think these guys do it just a little bit better. The driving conditions back in a minute on Friday Night Live. What the hell is elocution? Elocution is um, the enunciation of words and, and how you speak. No, I no. don't speak good. Here's an example of elocution. It's not like you don't get idiot. It's more idiot. Idiot. Ew, you idiot. It's like the rain in Spain, Spain. lays Spain. mainly on, on the, the plain. plain. Ew, R ew. My God, I think she's got it. Big brother. Big brother, work on the elocution. Excuse me, big brother. Excuse me. Excuse me, big, big brother, brother, you idiot. 
Don't call Big Brother an idiot. Sorry for calling you an idiot. Big Brother, let us out! Yes! Oh. I love her. She's great. Welcome back to Heavy Metal Night on Friday Night Live. We are rocking out harder than Guns N' Roses at a Metallica concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I keep forgetting. Darkness that. imprisoning me. <laughs> Sorry, I just went in. I just went into Metallica mode. Yeah. <laughs> Boys in the what, band. What's, mate. what's your shirt? It's Landmines. A, your, your shirt's That's, got a, a big I, sword coming out of yeah, a toilet. It's a knife from there. <laughs> what, what's it say? Don't. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's says, it was one of their first. It says albums. metal up. Yeah, right. Don't okay. read it, naughty <laughs> boys. <laughs> hey, uh, let's talk about the love in the house. We already touched on uh, Cherry and and Bridget. What about Bianca and Ben? What's going on there? <laughs> Rihanna, but well, they were sort of teasing you a little bit in there. Yeah, they, um, when I was in the house, they would mock Rory and I. Like yeah. Ben would go up behind Bianca and put his arms around her and stuff. As an excuse to cuddle her, just because yeah, you were with Rory. So, and then like they, they've been sleeping together. And today I was watching a little bit, and I caught them holding hands. What? So sleeping in the same bed. Sorry. Oh yeah. yes. <laughs> what did I say? No, sleeping I was sleeping together. I think they're both playing it really cool though. Like I think they're playing the same game. Like you know, I really don't like you, but I think they're secretly in love with each other. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I, I think they make a great couple. Yeah, I do too. They challenge each other's brains. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, it's an intellectual they'd make really intelligent babies. <laughs> ben, Ben, it would probably help though. Ben looked at her face a little bit more. Oh, stop it! Hey, and Bridget and Cherry. Just on that note, I think Bridget must be secretly in love with um, Cherry because she was doing dishes for him, <gasps> and yeah. she's the That's laziest non-housewife well, yeah. in the world. They sleep next to each other in the bed. And no, he's moved to sleep next oh, to her. Yeah, and they play. Apparently, they play a little footies, and they play little handy games. Oh. Oh, the Big Brother house creates so much love. It doesn't does, it? doesn't it? Rihanna, are place. you, Rihanna, are you prepared to play the most popular game I in the nation? Absolutely. Are you better with Sorry, was, Who's on the button? I, I was a little Sacking, premature then. That bloke. Pushy, pu that was me. I've got a little lever down here. Okay. And I just accidentally bumped we'll it. Yes. <laughs> Smarter than Brie Aimer. We play it every week. Rihanna, you would know about that because you've been in the house. Basically, I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. And if you get them right, you are smarter than Brie Aimer. Actually, You're... even if you get them wrong, you're smarter than me. Oh. Because the boys <laughs> cheat every week. That's not <laughs> true. It's not true. It's because you're really, really smart, Brie. We've got to level it up a little bit sometimes. But this time don't we worry. don't. Because we think you are equally matched I'm against gonna Rihanna. I'm going to suck tonight. Okay, test your buzzers. <laughs> I want you to do the electric guitar because it's heavy metal night. Wow, 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 wow. That's okay. All right, first question. <laughs> Jeez, what did I do with the question? Here we go. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne was the lead singer of which heavy metal band? <laughs> I should know this. Hang on, I know this. Let like, me think. No, too My late. Be too late. Too late. No, no, everyone, be, everyone be quiet. You can hear their brains ticking over. <laughs> okay, next question. Finish the lyrics from this classic Guns N' Roses song. What? Oh, come on, Brie. Uh, that's the first time I think a housemate has got it right. Legitimately. Before, legitimately before Brie. OK, what do fans do with their heads at heavy metal wah, 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 wah. Brie? Thrash it around, Mosh. No. With their heads. Sorry, that's wrong. Rihanna? Headbang. Yes! Yeah, headbang. Oh. Two nil. Look, hey, it's written here. Oh, you are wrong. Actually, and according we're, to the... we're playing a game <laughs> called Are You Smarter Than Brie? But Brie, did you just take your right earring out so you could hear Mike better? <laughs> You did too, I saw that. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, it was she's, look, falling look, out. She's only got one earring in. I know we don't need to play this game. Congratulations, oh. Rihanna. You're smarter than Brie Amar. You're smarter than Brie There you go. There you go. There you go, Brie. See, there's the questions. There's some other really cool questions there, like true or false, Metallica have a track called Enter Sandman. No true. idea. Yeah. Well, who sings School's Out for Summer? Do I look like a heavy metal Alice, band? Alice Cooper. And actually, I want to show this, because I actually got this jacket signed by Alice Cooper. And we didn't yeah, hang on. The jacket this. he made himself, yeah, and he's yeah. so proud I of did, it. When I, when I was a kid, look at this. How cool is that? It's actually autographed that by Alice Cooper. That says Wayne Cooper. No. The, the fashion guy. <laughs> Yeah, you're Alice kidding us. Cooper. You're Rock kidding us. There you go. Okay, unlike Are You Smarter Than Brie Aimer, this next round will be no walk in the Lincoln Park. It's the moment Fitzy's been waiting for. Let's get down to the arena. This is Bruce. This is Big Brother. Rory, Bridget, Travis, and Terry. Welcome 
to the inaugural Friday Night Games Air Guitar Championships. Housemates, you will each perform one routine. You will each have 30 seconds to play one song on the legendary Air Guitar. You will be judged on technique. You will be judged on enthusiasm. You will be judged on facial expression. You will be judged on raw emotion. And housemates, you will be judged by the Queensland representative of the 2008 Australian Air Guitar Championships, Raph McKenzie. Raph, show them how it's done. Your routine will be scored out of ten. When Big Brother calls your name, move up to the stage. When you hear the music start, you will have 30 seconds to air guitar. And remember, enthusiasm is crucial. Rory, step up to the disc now. Rihanna's watching Rory. And Rihanna says, my hero. Rory, get ready to rock. If only Jimi Hendrix was alive to see that, he'd be taking notes. Rory, prepare to be judged. Bam, bam, boom, that's a knee drop. My score is 7 out of 10. Mm. Rory, Gosh. you scored 7 points. Move back to the green zone. Bridget, step up to the red disc now. Let's see how she goes. Bridget, get ready to rock. Will Princess sparkle and sparkle? I didn't know she was... My mum could play better than that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Bridget, prepare to be judged. It's a bit of time. That was visually stunning, emotionally moving, and, well, you get the point. My score is 9 out of 10. Oh. Oh my God. Bridget, you scored 9 points. Travis, step up to the red disc now. I think air guitar man's into Bridget. Let's take her out on a date. Travis, get ready to rock. Oh. <laughs> Someone put a B in his undies. <laughs> I like the pose at the end. Travis, prepare to be judged. That was amazing. That brings me back to the days when I licked the sweat off Jimmy Page's back. <laughs> My score is 10 out of 10. Oh, my God. Travis, pretty good. you scored 10 points. Terry, step up to the red disc now. This is going to be good. I'm Get picking, ready to rock. I'm picking up on the fact that it's not technique, it's effort. Really, it's, 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 it
presentation on the line. Oh, that was just insane. <laughs> Terry, prepare to be judged. Now that's how you use a tongue. Call me. <laughs> My score is eight out of ten. <laughs> Terry, you scored eight points. Return to the green zone. <laughs> Rory, you scored seven points. Bridget, you scored nine points. Travis, you scored ten points. Terry, you scored eight points. Bridget and Travis, congratulations. You were through to tonight's sold out final. Housemates, please thank Raph McKenzie. All housemates to the holding area. Tell you what, I'm still trying to get over that. Looked like Terry was making love to a cheetah there or something. I didn't know what was going on. I'm, I'm in the crowd at the moment just having a couple of beers with me roadies here and the kids love to come and watch the show. I'm here with Briley. How old are you, brother? Nine. Nine, and I'm here with Jack. How old are you, Jack? Nine. Right, OK, we're talking rock and roll tonight, tonight Briley. Uh, actually, I'll go with you first, Jack. Yeah, what's your favourite rock and roll band, big fella? ACDC. Akadaka, good man. And what about a concert, Briley? Have you ever been to a rock concert before? Yeah. What concert? Pink. Pink! <laughs> That's brilliant. That is rock and roll. Boys, give me your best rock and roll faces. Ready? One, two, three. Yes! Oh. Rock and roll night, Mike. Rock and roll, baby. Show us your best air guitar, Rihanna. Ah, uh, she was so disappointed Rory didn't get through then. So who's oh, going to win? Was... Who's going to win the final break? Travis, in, in the finale or the final round, two weeks in a row, that's yeah. awesome. I think Travis has got to take it. It's so good because they're both usually runners up. Yeah, so tonight, that's one awesome. of them has to win. It is going to be a wicked final. Massive guitars, amps, smashing everywhere. Please put your hands together for Rihanna. Thank, Thank you so you much for joining us. Absolutely beautiful. You're a great housemate. Lots of entertainment. Now, you promise you won't cry, but you have to leave. <laughs> too much crying. Don't go anywhere because Bridget and Travis are up next in the final, so slip your knot, twist your sister, and pour some sugar on me. It's heavy, night, heavy metal night on Friday Night Live. <laughs> It's heavy metal night, so <laughs> strap on, plug in, and turn it up to 11. Because it's finals time, Bridget and Travis in tonight's final. Who will win? Uh, either of them. Either of them will be good. This is great. Look, can I just say, I am so... All right, that's enough. All right. I'm so happy that Bridget and uh, Travis are in the final. Oh, it's good to see one of these. Win, hey? I would love to see Travis win it tonight. Be great. We will see. It's about to get so intense, so be careful not to leave a skid row in your undies to the arena. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Finalists, it's time to smash and grab. Smash the amps and grab the backstage pass to win the Friday night games. On the buzzer, make your way down the course by smashing your amps. Each amp holds one key. When you collect this key, move on to the next amp. When all five keys have been collected, move to the backstage door at the end of the course and unlock it. One of your keys will fit the lock. Four will not. Once through the door, grab the backstage pass and hang it around your neck. The first housemate to do so will be the winner of tonight's games. Finalists, prepare to be a smash hit. Start on the buzzer. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, nice. Good start. Check it out. This is how I shop. Smash and grab. 
It's up the top. It's up the top. Bridget. Yes, you couldn't see. Oh, Bridget's on fire. Oh, oh, neck and neck. Smash and grab. This is how we shop in Adelaide. <laughs> neck and neck right now in the finale, the grand final of Friday Night Live, Heavy Metal Night. It's Bridget versus Travis. Who will win? Oh, this is close. Oh, Bridget's going to get it. Come on, Travis. Hit it. Bridget, congratulations. You are the master of metal, the ruler of rock, and the winner of the Friday Night Games. Collect your trophy from the podium. Music announcements. Celebrate your champion. to the top of the heavy metal heat tonight. Well done to her. Um, and, and, oh, she wins the uh, the secret prize. That the she, movie. The movie. Which one is the it? The housemates are all going to be watching How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. <laughs> oh, nice. And hey, and that's a good movie. Will she cuddle up to uh, to Cherry yes. during the movie, I wonder? Hey, and isn't it funny? Travis is forever the runner-up. How many times is that? I think oh, no. it's about three. That Hopefully she up. takes... Because that's Travis's kind of movie. Hopefully he gets taken to see the movie. I think she picks three people. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, let's have a look at Bridget and her uh, run tonight. She's done so well since the start of the games to get through. Have we got that little video run down and see how she went? Yes, we do. Okay, see so Twister replay. Started off. Great effort, Bridge. Great run there. Smashed the amps and won the trophy. Well done to Bridget, the winner tonight. But we might have a little bit more. She there are six. herself in the face of the trophy. <laughs> there are six housemates up for eviction this week. Their fate is in your hands. Here come the numbers. To vote to evict this week's nominated housemates, dial 1902 5555 and then for Alice, add 72. For Bridget, add 61. For Cherry, add 80. Or text their name to 191010. For Nobby, add 74. For Terence, add 79. For Terry, add 67. Or text their name to 191010. The long votes cost 55 cents max. 190 votes from Mobiles Extra. Lines close at 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time this Sunday, the 22nd of June. For terms and conditions, go to bigbrother.com.au. Bridget has won tonight's games, beating Travis in a hard-hitting, guitar-smashing final. Let's get down to the house. Oh, jeez. This is Big Brother. Bridget, hey. to the diary room. Okay, Bridget. How funny. Bridget. Head of house. Bridget's head of house. You guys don't want to listen to me. <laughs> Bridget. Hey, brother. Congratulations. Thank you. As the winner of the Friday Night Games, you are now head of the Big Brother household. Yes. You're holding the armband. Put it on now. Bridget. Yes. You have also won the power to change evictions. Yes. Bridget, Big Brother also promised you a mystery prize. Yes. Before you entered the Big Brother house, you told Big Brother your favourite movie of all time was How to Lose a Guy in Ten Days. Yay! Tonight, you and three of your guests will enjoy 
a private screening of this movie. The screening will take place in the Big Brother cinema. Bridget, which three housemates do you choose to accompany you? Um, I'll pick Alice, Terry and Trav. Thank you, Bridget. Go to the lounge and inform the housemates you have chosen of your decision immediately. You, you and you, we're going to the movies to watch How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. <laughs> you! This is Big Brother. Bridget, Alice, Terry, and Travis. The Big Brother Cinema is now open. Enjoy the movie. Yes! The Big Brother Cinema is now open. Better than gold class. Platinum class. Don't forget to watch the Sunday show at 6.30 to see if the moon monks have passed their mystic challenge. Mm. And make sure you stay tuned for a very special eviction where Big Brother will mess with the housemates' minds. You can check out the streaming on your three mobile or on the Big Brother website. So who do we think is going to get booted from the house on Sunday? Nominated is Cherry, Nobby, Alice, Bridget, Terence and Terry. Who do you reckon, audience? Kind of like Terence. Bit of Terry. Heard okay, of Terry, right. heard of Nobby, Bree, heard of Terry. Ryan, I'll start with you, Bree. Who do we most want to keep in the Big Brother house this Sunday? Uh, I think a toss up between um, Terry and Terence. I think they both add a bit of entertainment value. Actually, as frustrating as Terence is, I think the Daily Show would miss him. Who do we most want to keep, Fitzy? I want to see Alice stay in the house. I oh, think yeah, she's course, been beat yeah. up a little bit in the house. And I think if someone like a Nobby or, or Ben leave the house, she might come out of her shell a bit more. I think more. they all will. She's so, getting, yeah. So I want Alice to stay. And I think uh, who's I reckon go? Nobby's going to go this week. Go? Yeah, what about, about you, Bree? Nobby. Nobby should go. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just say um, that I think that Nobby is a great housemate and he's created more he content than any yeah, other housemate this series. And he's been absolutely brilliant in there. Well, I might not agree with some of the things that he's done, but he has done some amazing things in there. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Would you like to voice your opinion on Big Brother? Anyone in the audience as well? Just upload your video to the three mobile mouthpiece section of the Big Brother website. And if your clip is rated and aired on Monday night's Big Mouth, you score this awesome three mobile broadband dongle. Plug it into your laptop for instant internet on the go. It's not a mini guitar, it's a three mobile broadband toggle. Put your tongue away please, Ryan Fitzgerald. Thank you very much to three and I'm going to be at three store Parramatta tomorrow. Come down and say Can hello. Can I just say, tonight this has been the greatest Friday Night Live we have had. The audience has been yeah. brilliant. Yeah. It has been. What about Bree? Uh, Except for Bree, but other than that it's been a bell tonight. Well done guys. Thank to Bree, thank you to Fitzy, thank you to the driving conditions. Rihanna, good night. We'll see you next week with Steve Carell for Get Smart Spy Night. I'm Mike Goldman, you've been gold, man. Take it away, drive.